welcome to the haul portion of this Anime North vlog and haul. First of all, just want to talk about Anime North for a second. This is a convention that has been happening in Toronto for a long time now, but it is only the second time that I've gone. The first time that I went was pre-pandemic and I had a blast with a few friends of mine. Everything was such a super easy process to get in. Obviously, like I said, it was pre-pandemic, so there were a lot less um, factors that needed to take place before entering the venue back then. This time around, I must say that, you know, I understand that it was the first time the convention has come back since the pandemic began, so it's a good three years almost. The organization was just awful this time around, like terrible, and I don't know what happened. The lineups to get in were disgustingly long. They were still doing vaccine checks and you had to have a mask, which is fine, valid, fair, but I think there should have been a way to upload our vaccine proof um, beforehand on an app, something. I don't know what the solution is, but you could clearly tell that it slowed down the process immensely the other thing that i noticed though was that when they checked my vaccine status they didn't ask her id so i could have literally held up anybody's vaccine status and i could have got in so that's a little worrisome so long story short it took us over an hour and a half to get into the venue and the heat levels right now in toronto are very high it's probably the hottest temperatures we've had so far this summer and the day i went the saturday of the anime north weekend was an extremely cloudless day there was not a cloud in the sky and we were standing out in the heat for almost two hours basically to get in i did get sunburnt a little bit um but again i wasn't expecting to be standing out in the sun for that long because when i had come to this convention previously yes there was a line but we were in like instantly and again i understand that there was now the whole vaccine status and all of that stuff we had to do beforehand but i will say it was abundantly clear that the convention was oversold. There was way too many people outside and inside at any given moment. There was no way in hell that those numbers were allowed to be in there. Like it was so packed. I could not properly go through um, Artist Alley without, you know, I, I couldn't see anything. The crowds, like I was on top of somebody or somebody was on top of me the entire time. It was extremely uncomfortable, especially because if there was air conditioning inside the venue, I could not feel it. So that was just one of the long lineups and horror stories of too many people. But then, <laughs> of course, being around that many people in, in the heat like that, you're going to get hungry, you're going to get thirsty, you're going to get dehydrated. There were some water stations within the venue, however, not enough and the lineups to just get a glass of water, not even a glass, like a little Dixie cup of water, were, it was dumb. It was so dumb or you couldn't even like, you know, it was the same lineup to refill your water bottle if you had one. So you would have to wait in line for like a half an hour just to get water. The other problem was that there was no food vendors inside. So you had to go outside to get any food or any beverage, really, if it wasn't the free water. And there was only maybe, I think it was six to eight, I don't even think it was eight, <laughs> food trucks outside, which was just not enough to serve the amount of people that were there on the Saturday. So it took us an hour and a half, no, not an hour and a half, maybe closer to like just over an hour to get food. We decided, well, I was in one line and my friend was in another line and hers was moving much faster. She was in the pizza line, I was in the french fry line. Um, and she was at the front before I had even made it halfway up to my line. So I got out of my line, she got me a pizza at the front of her line. However, <laughs> the pizza was $18 Canadian for a little personal size pizza and then $2.50 for a bottle of water. So you wait an hour and a half and then you spend 20 bucks to get food and water and it was all in direct sunlight heat like it was it was bad <laughs> it was not a good experience and i hate that i'm like shit talking this convention because i did really enjoy it the first time i went but i don't know if it was because of the pandemic or what happened maybe the funding they didn't have as much because it's been two years since the last one i don't know 
but it was just not a memorable experience. And the friend that I went with, it was her first time going and she was literally like, I'm never going again. And it's just sad that for some people, this was their first impression of this convention and it was just run so poorly. But anyway, enough of me ranting about my experiences. I just felt like I needed to talk about it a little bit because it was hard for me to vlog in there at all. So that's why the vlog portion of this video was so short because it was just so packed, so crowded. And it was just, I don't know. It just made things very difficult to film. So anyways, now we're gonna get into the haul portion. Usually when I go to conventions, I do much more damage than this. However, like I said, I could barely even look at half of the booths. So that's probably why, like I wanted to buy manga this weekend but I couldn't browse properly without people like breathing down my neck and I couldn't, I just, I couldn't handle it anymore. So anyway, this is what I left with. I'm still very happy with the purchases that I made. This you saw in the video in the vlog portion, but I did get this little Mikey from Tokyo Revengers. This was my goal for the weekend. I knew that this figure existed. I was gonna buy it online, but I just kind of kept putting it off. And then uh, I saw it, I said if I saw it at the convention, I would buy it. It was pricey. I was expecting it to be a little pricey, but I did a little price comparison with how much it would have cost if I were to purchase it online, have it shipped to me, potentially pay customs. And honestly, it was about the same, same price. So anyways, this is Mikey. He's from Tokyo Revengers. He comes with a little motorcycle. He is my, one of my top two favorite characters in the show. The other being uh, Takashi Mitsuya. So yeah. Um, I don't think they've made a figure of his yet. I think the next one up in this line, I think they're making a Draken and a, uh, I think there's another character. I don't remember who it is, but it's definitely not Mitsuya. So I'm going to have to wait to hopefully pick up that, uh, figure if they ever make him. But yeah, um, I'm very excited to put them together. Maybe I'll insert a clip after this if I do put them all together and uh yeah so there was the biggest purchase of the weekend or of the saturday for me and then i bought some stuff from artist alley from the booths that i could or crafters corner i don't remember it's called something different at anime north but um yeah actually here's my little pass from anime north if you want to see it it's cute but it was not worth the hassle to pick up <laughs> i will say that but anyways, like I was saying, I did go to Crafter's Corner and pick up a few things. So let's start with this. I did get business cards for every single artist that I purchased from. So I can share that info with you. The first thing I got was this little keychain. It is from The Untamed. I haven't actually watched The Untamed yet, but I did read the novel, um, The Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. And I just love these two characters so much especially with the little bunnies i thought it was so cute and yes it sparkles and then there's the back very cute so yes um that was the first purchase that i had made <laughs> of the day and then here's the business card so there's the back and there's the front so you can find all of their info they had a lot of cute uh keychains so i highly recommend checking out if you're a fan of the untamed or grand master of demonic cultivation um and yeah so there was those. And then the next purchase that I made was from this booth here. So let's just take a quick look. So I did get some enamel pins, but these are kind of special. So first I'll show you the backs here and it has their info there as well. But these are little filler pins that you can put in like your Ita bag or on your pin boards, banners, whatever. And they kind of just fill in the awkward spaces in between pins. I've always seen artists that have these and I've just never purchased any, but I've always wanted them. So I got some of these to put in my Ita bag as well as some to put on my banners. And I got these little daisies as well as these little mushrooms. I think they're so cute. So there are those. Let me get the business card out too so you can see that. So here is the front of it, very cute. And then here's the back of it. So keep in mind, these are all Canadian sellers. So the shipping to you, if you're not in Canada might be a little high, but who knows, it could be reasonable. I'm not really certain. <laughs> I like to wait until these conventions to purchase pins and things like that, especially if I know they're Canadian sellers and will most likely be at um, some of the Toronto conventions because I get to save on shipping, so. And then next up, I have the last set of pins that I bought. So first I will show you the business card actually, because it's really cool. I'm sure actually that a lot of you may have 
heard of this artist. I don't know for sure, but I know that they're pretty popular online. So there's all their info. I love this as a business card. It's like so intense, but I love it. Um, and then I do have a few pins here. So I'm not going to turn them over. I don't remember which is which. We'll start with this one. So here's the back and oh, here we go. So we have Sailor Saturn who is one of my favorite Sailor Scouts. I would say Jupiter was my first favorite Sailor Scout, but then Saturn came along and I just like her for some reason. <laughs> I just like how dark she is. So there's that. And then we have this one, which is her wand. Now there's a funny story behind this. I actually didn't choose this pin. I pointed at a different wand and I didn't realize until I got home that this was the wand that was given to me, probably because it was so hectic and crazy. The poor artist probably didn't realize what I was pointing at. And then I just said, you know, I want this wand. And maybe she thought I meant her wand, not her fault at all. It was like I said, just nuts in there, but I'm happy to have this pin as well. And the next convention I go to where this artist is there, I'll just pick up the actual wand that I wanted. It's not a big deal at all to me because I do love Sailor Saturn, so I'm okay with having this. Um, and then the last one that I got was, oh, I dropped her, was this little Togepi with a knife because yes, <laughs> absolutely needed. So and there's that. So that is literally everything that I got um, on the weekend. Like I said, this was a good chunk of my money and then um, everywhere else it was just really hard to shop at. I really wanted to buy manga. I almost bought one, but it was like $35 and I was like, you know, I could probably just get it online later. I don't need it right now. So I didn't buy it because I was hoping to find some deals or you know what I mean? Like if I was going to buy manga there, try to get the, the booths that honor like the US cover price, which if you don't know, US cover prices are much cheaper than Canadian cover prices when it comes to books. So um, I was hoping for that, but the one booth that did honor US prices, you had to buy five or more, and I literally just could not browse long enough to even choose five. So it is what it is. So anyway, that was my little anime North Hall and mini vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I'm kind of sad that I had to, you know, I had a lot of negative things to say, but I just wanted to be open and transparent with my experience this year. It wasn't that great. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.